Hi there, Cancer. It's Annette McKinley, and this is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm back with your uh, love reading from October 16th through October 31st, 2018. Please like, subscribe, 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 and share these videos. I welcome your positive comments. I also would just like to put this out there. I don't know who has been um, putting time stamps for when the reading be begins down in my um, comment area. Please don't do that. Um, if you choose to skip through my intro yourself, that's fine, but don't assume everyone else wants to skip the intros. Um, I usually take this time to describe the reading and kind of what's going to happen. Um, for those of you who are new, since this is a newer channel, um, you know, this is my channel. I'm going to do it the way I feel, feel I need to do it. Um, if I want someone to timestamp things, I will ask for that, okay? But thank you anyway. Um, so moving on, we are going to be doing your love reading. This is a general reading for uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Um, it may or may not resonate. Just keep an open mind when you're watching tarot videos. And um, just enjoy the messages. Um, you'll resonate right away within a few cards. Um, so the way I'm going to do this spread is we're going to pull a fortune card from the fortune deck as the overall energy. We're using the Triumphi Della Luna deck by Patrick Valenza as the main deck. Clarifying any major arcanas or repeating messages um, with the steampunk tarot and then wrapping things up with the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. Um, so let's get started, Cancer. I'm a Cancer Sun myself, so totally can relate with you. Um, we've been uh, having some really crazy energy. The veil has been very thin. Our third eye chakras um, are wide awake. We've been receiving a lot of downloads. Um, so the energy is just incredible right now. I just wanted to make sure I had time to get these videos out because I am booked solid through the end of the month. Um, I will have time to do uh, personal readings here and there. Um, so I am still accepting appointments if you're interested. Um, if you'd like a private reading, um, the information is in the description box down below. And thank you for those of you who have had private readings with me. It's been my honor and privilege to serve you. So what does Cancer need to know in love from now until the end of October 2018, please, Spirit? What's the most important message that they need to hear in love from now until the end of October 2018? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Okay, Cancer, the shield, you are safe from harm. So you are being either divinely guided um, and protected by your guides and angels, whatever you believe in, um, or um, your relationship is safe from harm and safe from any interfering, uh, meddling people or uh other uh, outside distractions. So just know that there is a shield around you and your partner and relationship. All the cards are jumping out here. Um, that's too many cards. I'm not going to take those. We're going to go into the next deck now and, and do the reading. What messages are here for Cancer and love between now and the end of October 2018, please, Spirit? I call upon my guardian angels and spirit guides to relay the messages that Cancer needs to hear for their highest good. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Love from now until the end of October 2018, please, Spirit. Okay, off the bottom of the deck here, um, 
That's the overarching energy. I've got nine of pentacles. This has been coming up a lot lately for many signs. And then we have the wheel of fortune. Two of cups, cancer. Are we catching a lucky break? Um, the Hierophant. Wow. Um, I'm going to pull a couple more here. Nine of Swords. Um, this is the Lovers. It's number six. So really, like, there's some alternative versions of the usual cards in this deck. Just to prepare you, but because it's Halloween, I like using this deck. And you've got the Queen of Coins or Queen of Pentacles with their little demon cats there. They're so cute. Shout out to my friend Scully. She loves the demon cats on that card. Um, and on the bottom, we've got the Eight of Wands. Okay, so just give me a minute here while I take a look at this. Okay, so I feel like things are going to change for the better for you, Cancer, um, with your love relationship. I feel like you're finally going to catch a lucky break because remember that you are safe from harm. You are being guided and protected um, by forces that you can't see. So your guardian angels and spirit guides, your your ascended masters are protecting you and this this relationship, I feel. I feel it is a partnership because I've got the Hierophant here. I've got the Two of Cups. Um, I have um, the Lovers. I've got Wheel of Fortune. Um, and I feel like for those of us who are single, I feel like um, we might be um, getting ourselves into a relationship soon. Whether um, it's someone you're already with, or if you're single, which it seems like a lot of you are single, um, you've got new love coming in. And this person is ready, they're strong, they're solid, stable, um, you know, and they're, they're ready to either take things to the next level or start something with you. Um, we have the Queen of Coins here, Queen of Pentacles. Um, she's very resourceful. Um, she is very solid, grounded, stable, possibly earth sign energy or has earth in her chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But she's very down to earth. And um, this is my I have one F left to give card. And she is going to invest her time, energy, and efforts wisely because she doesn't have time to be playing around because she's in this nine of pentacles energy which is being strong, independent, single. Um, this is my all of that in a bag of chips card. Um, yeah, she if she had somebody to spend her time with, because she's got this one, one pentacle to add to the nine, which is 10, which is a long-term committed relationship. Um, she's good either way. Um, but I feel like she's been on her own for quite a while and um, is ready to... Uh, settle down finally she's built up her her coin she's been you know saving up her money working really hard been very disciplined and um you know built up her own little empire and she's ready to share that with somebody um and things are going in your favor cancer because we've got the wheel of fortune this is karma fate and destiny driven by the planet jupiter which is sagittarius energy but um, you're coming out of some karmic cycles and things are looking up. So if you've been on your own and kind of praying for this relationship, the soulfully connected partnership, possibly with a Taurus or a Sag, could be anybody, Gemini, um, another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but this is about um, taking a step back and looking at what you believe to be true, what you, what you value, um, spiritual guidance, maybe gaining some spiritual guidance, maybe going to your friendly neighborhood tarot reader who happens to be in Milwaukee, hello, <laughs> and um, just, you know, getting some, some spiritual guidance, um, you know, 
I feel like this is definitely, this is also a karmic card um, with it being ruled by Taurus. Um, so you got a lot of karmic here. I feel this is like a soulmate twin flame relationship that is finally going to get grounded and come together. Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, passionate communication going back and forth with this Eight of Wands energy. Um, this could be texting, emailing back and forth, actually traveling from a distance to see someone. Um, or the two of you may have had some distance between you um, and just kind of taking a step back. Um, someone may have taken a step back or, you know, trying to, you know, get done with their karmic cycles because we've gotten the Nine of Swords here. And somebody's been very worried, stressed out, anxious about where this situation or relationship, situationship <laughs> is going. Um, and you're finally, I think, going to get communication. Um, this is also known as Cupid's Arrows in Flight. Um, and I feel like if you are single um, or were kind of in a stuck sort of energy or there was no communication, I think things are finally going to work themselves out in your favor. Um, I feel like this person, um, you know, they're back and forth. With this card, with this one being uh, the lover's card, it's Gemini's card, but it's kind of like this gesture. This is someone who's got a lot of different sides to their personality. They may, might have been showing you different sides of them or you were showing different sides of yourself to them. Um, and I feel like a lot of you are still getting to know each other, but also I feel like this person might have been goofing around and now they finally had to make a choice or decision to start moving things towards this Two of Cups and get you guys on the same page and seeing eye to eye. Um, so that's what I'm picking up here, but again, this connection is protected. Again, I feel this is a soulmate, twin flame, partnership that's coming together finally. Um, I feel like within the next, um, within the next month, you're definitely going to see a huge change in movement forward in this. You don't need to worry cancer. You need to stop worrying and try to get some sleep. So I feel like, you know, you guys have you've, either, they've been thinking about you a lot or you've been thinking about them a lot and you need to um, just let that go. You're just wasting energy. Fate has stepped in here. You've got quite a few major arcana cards here. So just know that you need to just let go and just trust in the divine and things are going to come together here. So let's go into the steampunk tarot and validate the overarching energy and the major arcanas that I have here. Please clarify the shield for Cancer. The shield, you are safe from harm. So just know if anyone is trying to throw you any bad juju or negative energy or curse you, just know that you are um, divinely guided and protected. But can you please clarify the shield for cancer and love? Yeah, four of swords. Um, I feel like you need to just rest and um, take a mental break out of this energy and just let go. Um, I feel like maybe some of you got were involved in a third party situation or found out about it or and you just decided just to pull your energy back and, and take care of yourself. Um, just know you have nothing to worry about. You're protected and just to let your worries go to the divine. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Cancer in their love reading? Yep. Um, someone is, um, I feel, has been um, studying the situation from afar. Maybe they've been watching you from afar um, with this Page of Pentacles. But this is the student. Of, of, this is me a message coming in with some type of a really small offer um, that maybe you've been waiting for. And this person is being divinely guided to do so. But 
they're gonna offer you something small, which is gonna be solid, solid. It's like that little seed that's gonna be planted. It's gonna grow. Um, but I think you're gonna see some movement, but it's gonna be very, um, very slow, just kind of going with the flow type of energy, but it is going to lead to some solid growth. Why is the Hierophant here? Okay, so the Hierophant is validated by the Five of Swords. We got two fives here, so there is a change. I feel like someone may have been um, kind of conflicted. There was some petty stuff going on. Um, they're feeling very defensive, and this is like all up in their head. Or, you know, questioning their, their beliefs of, around commitment and relationships. Or feeling like they were attacked or something for whatever, but it was all up in their head. And this is change. Five is a number of change, and this person is this person or you are getting out of this sort of energy. Getting out of that way of thinking and looking at You know, I think they're really willing to cooperate. I think they were kind of fighting the idea of relationships in general. Why is why are the lovers here for Cancer? The chariot. Six to number six to seven. Moving forward in victory and success, taking control, guiding these uh masculine and feminine in one direction, taking control, moving things forward. So along with the Wheel of Fortune and the lovers, this relationship is now going to, everybody's getting getting in the, in the car together, maybe going on a road trip together or something, but things are now, everybody's on the same page. They're working together and this is going to move in the right direction and be a very successful partnership um, and you are in your reading strong cancer now because it was validated with another major card I'm going to clarify the chariot card for you oh, and I just noticed on the bottom of this deck we've got ten of pentacles this is a looking towards the future in a long-term committed relationship okay very strong solid and stable the both of you are bringing um, your abundance your separate abundances together to create um, a legacy and shared abundance together and it's gonna it's gonna go the distance yep oh my god four of wands are validating the chariot and the lovers this relationship is going to step up to the next level this is also twin flame energy here with with the um four wands 11 11 if you believe in that Everybody believes in something different. Everybody's on a different journey. But I feel like this relationship is going to go to the next level. It's going to be successful, um, possibly leading to some type of a commitment or some type of marriage. Um, whatever a relationship means to you or whatever commitment means to you. So let's go into the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. Beautiful reading here. It's been a little bit of a few rough patches, I feel, but things are finally starting to come together and it's about time. A lot of us cancers have been waiting a very, very long time to find our person, to find our soulmate. And uh, we've learned a lot along the way and uh, I feel like now it's, it's time. The universe is going to cut us some slack, I think. Just stay positive. Don't worry. All right, so two cards flew out. First one I have is Guardian Angel, which totally validates the shield card that we have in the overall energy. So just ask your Guardian Angels for some help. You know that they're trying to help you on the other side. And know that you are protected from any negative energies, okay, or any interference. And balance this relationship or whatever you needed to find your own balance but the relationship also need, needs to be balanced out too I feel like things are a little bit out of whack because someone was um, playing some mind games or um, their ego is in the way and now I think you know they're ready to cooperate and get on the same page and 
you know, you guys need to compromise and figure out a way to, to uh, meet in the middle so everyone's happy. So this is a healthy connection and healthy, soulfully connected partnership, Cancer. And one more message, please, from the deck for my Cancers and love. Thought. Um, you have been on this person's mind a lot. And I feel this person has also been on your mind a lot. The two of you are definitely thinking about each other and what a relationship could be with the other person, kind of getting clear on what you want. Um, so this is, there's been a lot of, also I feel that this person is putting a lot of thought into this offer that they're going to come forward with to take things to the next level. Um, and this person, I feel, has also been up in their head a lot. Could be you or the other person. Remember, the energy can go back and forth. Um, but now it's time to get out of your head and into your heart. And I feel now things are going to start moving forward. Um, I feel this person needed some time just to think and think about you, think about their connection with you and where they would like to see things go with you. And again, the energy can go back and forth. But I feel that both of you are finding that sweet spot, that balance, and things are going to move in the right direction. So thank you again, you guys. I hope that made sense to you. Um, I, again, I appreciate your, your, your positive comments and feedback, and I look forward to um, doing your private readings for you. Until next time, be the love and be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.